September brings ideal weather for outdoor activities in Memphis. However, being outside around dusk or dawn puts people at a high risk of obtaining a bite from a mosquito carrying the West Nile virus. The Centers for Disease Control have reported a record 3,042 cases of the virus and 134 deaths nationwide so far this year. Memphis is combating West Nile with the Shelby County Health Department's Vector Control Program, which fights mosquitoes in a two-part regimen. Mosquito larvae are treated by applying larvicides to standing bodies of water throughout the city and county. To treat adult mosquitoes, trucks are sent out to spray in area codes where control group mosquitoes have tested positive for the disease. Vector Control also offers mosquito-eating fish called gambusia fish at no charge. Officials from Vector Control anticipate more West Nile cases this year, but are pleased that Memphis has not experienced the severity of the virus like other U.S. cities. The absence of the disaster that's going on elsewhere in the, in the country would suggest that an organized program such as this is of value to the residents and provides some degree of protection. So far this year, Memphis and Shelby County have only reported 19 cases of the West Nile virus. This is an encouraging statistic for vector control. However, there are some Memphians that are skeptical. I feel better with them doing that, but I feel like I should still take some precautions of my own. Vector Control says taking personal precautions against mosquitoes is key when outdoors. It is essential to cover exposed skin with clothing and to use an insect repellent containing DEET. Reporting from downtown Memphis, Carrie Sanders, Insight News.